Schools were on high alert across the country today due to a social media challenge on TikTok. People on the app encouraged students to call in threats to schools. Schools in our area added extra security just as a precaution. On your side, Kaylee Tracy is joining us live from Fernandina Beach tonight. And Kaylee, there was a threat made on another social media platform there as well. That's right, Anthony. Nassau County school spokesperson tells me that not only TikTok they were aware of social media threats in general, but also said that Snapchat threats on Snapchat were circulating around the county yesterday, targeting three specific schools for today. That's Yuli Middle School, Southside Elementary School, and here at Fernandina Beach Middle School. Now, thankfully, the spokesperson says nothing happened at any of the schools across the county, but like schools across our area, they stepped up security at schools across the county here in Nassau as well, and they also had detectives at the schools out of an abundance of caution. As for those Snapchat threats, the district spokesperson says the sheriff's office is still investigating that threat and says those involved could face criminal charges and consequences within the district. Fernandina Beach Police Deputy Chief tells me that they take every threat seriously credible or not. Even though these threats were not credible, um, we felt there was still a need to ensure the public that the police departments uh, striving to make their children safe at school. Um, so we provided extra patrols at all of our schools. Um, we had our detectives posted at all of the schools, and we just want everyone to know that um, we have all of our resources dedicated to protecting our children here in our community. TikTok issued a statement on Twitter reading in part, quote, we handle every rumored threat with the utmost, even um, rumored threats, excuse me, with the utmost seriousness. And the statement went on to say that they haven't found evidence of these threats originating or spreading on TikTok and the FBI and Department of Homeland Security, who was also helping investigate, have not found credible threats either. TikTok went on to say it did find videos talking about the quote rumor and warning others to stay safe on TikTok. It says it's removing quote alarmist warnings that violate our misinformation policy. Tonight at six, we talked to a local parent who kept her children home because of the threats at local schools here in Fernandina. Reporting live, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.